Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we will install the BlendOS on our system. So we will create a virtual machine for the BlendOS. So let us start with the installation. So from this video, I am going to uh, use a new workflow. So I am now going to create videos on our Windows desktop. So I got a new HP gaming laptop with uh, all the latest software installed new editors or everything has changed my whole workflow has changed earlier i used to do all the video editings and recording stuff on linux machine but now i have shifted over to the hp gaming laptop because you see there is some issues with the nvidia, NVIDIA drivers so many of the linux uh, systems are not properly supporting the nvidia I have issues uh, changing the performance uh, mode of uh, nvidia on some of the linux distributions so i have now chosen to do the video editing and recording on windows because on windows the nvidia works properly and you can do all the configuration necessary easily on windows uh, platform instead of the linux platform so linux it will take some time before the nvidia uh, will work properly because now they are open source the nvidia drivers so it will take some time maybe one year or two years at the max before we get a satisfactory uh, performance of nvidia especially the configuration and uh, the settings of nvidia take a hell lot of uh, effort in uh, linux but that is not the case in uh, windows because windows is a closed uh, source info uh, closed source platform and nvidia works properly because we use the closed source uh, installation of nvidia on windows and everything works uh, fine so now earlier i used to use gnome boxes as a virtual machine manager but now i am uh, using the microsoft hypervisor so this is the microsoft hypervisor you can see here there are two uh, uh, two apps are there this is the hyper v manager and this is the hyper machine creator so this is the creator so you can you create a virtual machine from here and here you have to give the name to your uh, virtual machine so we will give the name blend os and you have to create the machine sorry there is some issue okay so we skip uh, this uh, blend os is there so we will choose the blend os iso now you have to create a virtual machine so uh, all the pre configuration has been done only the memory and the uh, number of processors that virtual machine will use will come at later stage so you have to just create the virtual machine right now so it is creating the disk now here in the edit settings you have to do the uh, addition and the final configurations for the virtual machine that you are now going to create so firmware it is okay you can see the dvd drive it has chosen the iso as a drive and this hard drive is now going to get created with the name blend os 1 vhdx security secure boot is disabled in memory minimum ram is 2048 max is 10 gb so we will reduce that 4096 processors 6 are there because this is a hexa pr processor so 6 uh, physical cores and 12 logical cores are there so it is showing the virtual processor 6 we will reduce it to 4 4 uh, the system can comfortably work hard drive is blend os 1 vhdx and this is the dvd drive so everything is uh, properly chosen all the options are done so we have to just apply it now select ok and then you have to connect with your blend os uh, virtual machine virtual machine is created i will now maximize it so there are these options are available there is no mode set option available you can reboot into the firmware interface and the first option that we are going to choose it is a uefi 64 bit uh, installation
I have uh, done some experiments, some trials with this BlendOS ISO and there are some issues with the installer. I will show you what the issues are. So first of things, we have to increase the resolution. Resolution is uh, less right now. So we are going to increase the resolution so you can have a comfortable view. Yes, we will keep the changes, close the settings. Now we can start with the installation. So country you have to choose India. So this is the installer from Crystal OS. And now go downwards and use this English, uh, English uh, option. You can test your keyboard. Oh, it is working fine. Region is properly selected, zone is properly selected, time is also proper. It is the right time. Now you have to give your name, password. You can choose any of these three desktops and two window managers. So we will go with Gino. I am comfortable with Gino. You can uh, select this IPv6 loopback and you can select or deselect this ZRAM. So if you select this ZRAM D, it will create, create a area of swap in RAM itself. So I think we will not require to uh, install a separate partition for the RAM, uh, not RAM, sorry, swap. I am leaving this uh, custom hostname uh, blank. So system or the installer can decide which uh, name it, it has to give for the host name. Now we can switch over to manual partitioning or we can uh, go with the as uh, this uh, automatic partitioning. So we will switch to manual partitioning. Let us open gparted. We will go here and create a new partition table. We have to use the GPT style partition table. Create a new say 500 MB and you can specify it is as a boot partition. And you can have this as the root partition. So you can specify it as root or system partition. Space here. We are done. I think with the partition name, now you have to apply the operations. We have not created the swap because swap will be created in the RAM itself, virtual RAM. Now I will quit, refresh this, you can use uh, extended 4, go with the boot EA5 uh, option, again extended 4, go with the root partition, I think that's it. Why it is not coming up, there is issue with this. Uh, I think we have done everything perfectly, but then there is still issue. Uh, we can go with VFAT. Maybe VFAT will work. No. This is uh, the next button is still grayed out, grayed out. That means we have done something wrong or the system has some uh, issue with uh, there is some bug is there. Let us choose FAT. No, it is still not working as it should. See, there is an issue with this. Otherwise, it is very easy. I have not uh, experienced such problem. You can even use boot or a... Okay, let us go with boot EFI. Still, it is not working. So, what we will do is, let us go with the automatic partitioning. Select the hard disk. 
we will just go ahead there is some issue with the installer i don't know why it is not working uh, in my trials i also tried to do a separate swap partition but then uh, it fails uh, the installation fails the, you cannot go ahead with the installation it will just uh, stop at the position where i showed you the issue is so you cannot just specify the partition names and everything the swap uh, you cannot select there is no uh, selection for swap so whenever you try to format it with uh, file system you know you you remember that uh, in swap you need not format it you have to leave it unformatted but then uh, this installer installer doesn't go ahead with the swap and it fails to go ahead so miscellaneous settings zram enabled okay so that's it now the reflector has started to sort out for the fastest mirrors everything is automated you have to just sit back and wait for the system to get installed so as such it is very fast installer but uh, it is experiencing some issues when we have a separate uh, swap partition so what happens is we select the uh, there is no selection i think for the unformatted uh, space and uh, when we use the gpt style partitioning uh, and we uh, specify uh, this bios grub also then there is a issue with the bios grub also so we cannot uh, specify the bios grub partition also so there is a issue with all those things so the install is still not properly done but you can uh, safely do automatic installs automatic uh, partitioning and automatic install everything is okay but if you try to do manual partitioning there is a issue with the installer so here you can see the total download size is 958.46 mb so within that uh, the complete arch uh, base will be installed and blend os will be in working condition so it is not very heavy installation it is quite light installation this size install size is large almost 2.4 gb because it is going to install the different containers so we will have at least three package managers apt pacman and uh, dnf further you can install i think more uh, package managers so because of these containers and the package managers the size is heavy otherwise i think the arch base will be very light maybe was just 900 mb or maybe 1 1 gb i think at the most arch is uh, arch base is very light but the containers and the different package managers and the configs everything is taking rest of the space
आम्मी वीडियो करते हैं कशाला आवड़ते so with this uh, we will stop the video here the installation has completed we have to just reboot the system in the next video we will uh, do the review of the blend os gnome desktop and we will check out uh, what is there what is the difference what are the different features of blend os so see you in the next video bye